it's already been a big day. But we do have yes. one more Space goggles. Day. Thanks. Go. I'll take it from what? here. This is a day that's been years in the making. Our commitment to eradicating targeted advertising, unless under our terms, is unwavering. So much so that we've cost companies like Meta and Snap billions of dollars in ad revenue. Since the beginning of time, we have protected people's privacy by fighting against all those advertisers chasing them around the internet, chastising them to buy a pair of shoes that they scrolled past months ago. But our war on tracking is not yet won. Today, I'm honored to introduce Privacy Manifest. Think of Privacy Manifest as a data collection customs form for iOS apps and ad tech vendors, a way for us to map the online tracking ecosystem so that one day we can cut it off at the roots. Wow. A Privacy Manifest will need to be provided by every app in the App Store and every software development kit that those apps rely on. Each Privacy Manifest will feature four primary pieces of information, whether the app or software tracks users, a list of sites that it connects to that track people's behavior, the types of data collected, including the reasons for their collection, and the reasons for accessing certain capabilities of the iOS operating system. Building on our industry-breaking app tracking transparency feature, if a user has not granted permission to be tracked, any network requests to the listed tracking domains will fail. That's right, thank you. I'll pause for your applause. Privacy Manifest will make it so annoying for apps and ad tech vendors to support tracking that developers will feel like the monkeys in those punch the monkey ads. If an app or software embedded in an app collects data from our users, it will have to disclose if that data is linked to a user's identity and if the data is used to track users. And it will have to provide its reason for collecting that data, such as for app functionality, personalizing its product, or of course, for third-party advertising. But we're not stopping there. App developers will need to do this for each type of data that their apps collect, based on 14 categories that we have come up with, including an other category that is completely at our discretion. Whoa. And that's not all. We will also require that developers provide reasons that their apps or software development kits need to access certain features on iPhones and iPads. And we will say what those features are at a later date of our choosing potentially by spring 2024, which is when any app or app update submitted to the App Store will be required to submit a privacy manifest. What the f With privacy manifest, it's our turn to track the trackers. Oh.